Alrighty then. Uh, let me get around to sharing. I'm getting better at this share deal. Next. Groups. Hot damn Rams, Jeeps, and Mopar cars. All right, getting it. Hot damn hell yeah. All right. Welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team. And if you're new here, welcome. All right, so I got the rest of my uh, oil feed line stuff last night. I found it this morning at my front door. Either it got delivered super late or it ended up at somebody else's house and uh, they came and dropped it off, which I appreciate it. However it happened, cool. All right, so oil feed line system. Here's the little diagram right here. You can either do like the block and then the oil filter, right? Do a block adapter, oil filter, or you could do a T at the pressure sensor. All right, that's what I did. If that doesn't work, then I'll move to this. All right, so, but at least I'll have the experience on both if it, this doesn't work. If this works, then it's just staying. All right, so we got the uh, we got the T to get some oil from the block. We got a uh, line. We have a shut off valve and a control valve, right? You can actually control flow line. Uh, check valve, one PSI, so when the engine turns off, oil doesn't continue to go through because it's not enough pressure to keep pushing and then fill up here, right? Then your line to the uh, top of the turbo for the feed. Turbo's all taken apart right now. Everything's getting taken apart because I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. All right, so then we drop into here and that goes down with gravity for the most part. All right, so let's go over to the line because this is what you guys want to see. All right, oil feed, the T. All right, this, you remove your oil pressure sensor that's gonna go in place there. Your pressure sensor is gonna go here. All right, then that's gonna connect to there. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on. Might not exactly do a video. It's gonna be, a, it's, it's an easy deal. All right, I'll show you exactly where it goes. But what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of proper, the proper type of gasket maker here on my pressure sensor and here. So it'll help it from vibrating loose and it'll help with leaks, all right? So you have the T and then now I've been waiting for this. First one got canceled. It's a simple device. There's a ton of them out there. It's just weird during this whole situation. It was a little difficult to get, all right? This is the shut off valve, all right? This is when I was talking in my last video about if something happens with the turbo system and I wanna take the turbo off. Well, instead of taking this whole T off and putting the sensor back in so I don't leak oil. All right, just shut it off. Done. All right, so from the shut off valve, and also you can control, right? Control, control. It is directional. Sorry, the sun is bright right there. Where is the arrow? Flow. It is directional. It is a purpose built piece. All right, so you, whoop, you have your long line going around line 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 goes all the way around all right going down the frame however to your check valve it's directional you don't want to go the wrong way if i turn this valve is the other way all right oil coming from the motor to this valve if you don't have the arrow right there you will get zero flow all right this thing uh what do you call it? it's like 600 i forget how much yeah 600 psi all right it can handle back pressure this way. All right, this way is one PSI. So what that does is, is when you turn the engine off, all right, instead of that little residual pressure, keep on pushing oil into your turbo, it'll just stop here until you turn the engine on and it gives it enough pressure to push through. It also should give a little bit of back pressure to the oil pressure sensor, all right? And if I got too much flow, it's not needed, which I'll be able to check that. All right, I can control it here if I desire. For the most part, I think I'm gonna wanna open flow with this turbo. All right, that's basically it right there. And I can stretch this out for you so you can see. So I got a mess going on here. Oh, I don't have a red carpet. All right, so it's pretty long. Apologize. T. Right. Oh, I'm going down the frame. 
Should turn it on off if I need. So this, this now is gonna allow me to have it on the truck for now and I can switch it back and forth or I could take the turbo on and off as I need and do what I need to do, but that can sit on there until I'm ready. I plan on doing the same thing with the return all the way to my check valve and then this will go to the turbo. All right, pretty simple on the feed side, but these little deals here, this is not exactly, you know, super important, but for what I'm doing, I wanna be able to shut the oil off if I got to. All right, important, check valve, really important. All right, simple, but a couple little important deals. Now, the return, almost there. I uh, should have the oil pressure sensor. So we're gonna add an oil pressure sensor to this. So I should have that fitting by Monday. And then I'm waiting for my little scavenge tank. All right, and that has a clear glass tube in it, which is going to be just a really neat deal. All right, so hopefully by next week, a week or two or whatever, we'll have it totally running. Um, but I think since I have my oil feed line, all right, here, I think I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the truck next weekend. All right, so basically this part to here. I want attached. I want to I'll probably do the whole thing if I have some hangers. All right, but I just don't want to just slap it up there. But maybe I'll slap it in all the way to here and then cap it off with one of my little 4A in caps. Shouldn't leak any oil anyway if you have it shut off at the shut off valve. But we can see how everything works out. It's going to be great. All right, so next week, going to try to get the oil feed line on. This is the oil feed line. All right, so what you're looking at over here on the diagram, exactly over there on the floor, T, pressure sensor is going to go on that T. All right, then you see the line coming off the T, shut off, control valve, line, uh, check valve, so you don't get when the end, that's for when the engine's off. All right, then your line and then to the turbo. That's it, easy feed, we got it. Now what we're waiting on here is this fitting and this fitting. And then uh, once I get those fittings, we'll put it on and run it. We don't have to have the charge pipes or a tune or nothing like that. We'll put it on and watch the oil run through physically on the truck at idle. All right, hot damn hell yeah, I appreciate y'all. Go out there and uh, wish your mother a happy Mother's Day. All right, and some of y'all go rub your mom's back, something, whatever you gotta do. All right, hot damn hell yeah. Go love your mom. Yee, yee hot damn, get some.